Well, there are many stories people can look up by by deep diving into Saint Germain. The, I think he was an immortal, and he keeps appearing at different times. The 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 most interesting time and the longest time that he appeared and stayed around was in the 1760s, 70s, 80s, in the French court. He was the man of mystery. He was, he could speak multi-languages. He was uh, an excellent musician, violinist, and a wonderful speaker, and people loved to listen to him expound on things. There's, you couldn't ask him a question that he couldn't expound on, and people were fascinated, especially the French court, Marie Antoinette, mm -hmm. and he always had jewels, jewels on his shoes, yet nobody knew where he got his money from. And when he got invited to the banquets at the, at the court, French court, he would never eat. He would talk. Everyone else would eat. Nobody ever saw him eat anything. And there wasn't a question that he couldn't expound on. And that was fascinating, you know. People, where does a single individual be such an accomplished musician, philosopher, speak on any subject in multi-languages? How is this possible? You know, and he looked like he was in his late 30s, perhaps, 40s. The women loved him. These types of individuals occasionally appear. We have it from many different cultures, not just the Western culture, that these enlightened souls, immortals, will make an appearance, hang around for a while, give us information, uh, inform us, and then they suddenly disappear again. But they don't age. They certainly come equipped with knowledge that the rest of us don't have. So wherever they go and wherever they come from is a much more advanced and enlightened state than we are presently in. And they have, they have powers that they can uh, use beneficially. He would often manifest jewels and give them to the ladies. Like, how can you, how can you manifest a diamond? We're talking about a, an individual that is difficult for us to comprehend. We, we see their actions, we see what they do, and we're just left aghast. How, how is this possible? How can this be? It just is. Saint Germain is known for his violet flame. So you can invoke the violet flame, visualize it, when you're depressed, when you're in need, when you're in pain, uh, when you have an issue. Summon Saint Germain to surround you with the violet flame and visualize that and hold that as long as you can and um, see what happens. Yeah, he's a, he's a force for good. He's certainly not a negative entity of any, any kind. But, you know, there's Archangel Michael. There's lots of people that an individual can count on. Who's your favorite? Who do you like? Who are you attracted to? Bring that energy, focus on it, and uh, surround yourself with a white crested light, and it'll protect you. Yeah, I have a picture of... Saint Germain, right above my where I'm making the OGs. I always try to burn incense when I'm making uh, OGs in classical music, invocation to Saint Germain. I just visualize. I just I have a little prayer, and I light light an incense stick, and I put my favorite classical music on. So it's a ritual I go through. And it never varies. I play the same CD of classical music. There's nine or ten pieces on there. And I've played that for ten years or more. Never any other music. Always just that one CD. 
and I light some incense, and I call in um, my my orgon <laughs> angel to help me make the best uh, orgon that I can, that it becomes a positive and beneficial item, you know, wherever it goes out, because I don't know where it's going to go. It's going to go somewhere in the world, but I put in my good intention that that is a force for good. It's going to attract negativity, transmute that negativity, and out comes a revitalized positive orgone energy that is good for all living things, plants, pets, humans, everything. <laughs>